Welcome to another video on navigating CALAG permits. This video will provide a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to enter and submit a Production Agricultural Monthly Pesticide Use Report. This report is the form most often used by growers. It should be used for all grower-applied pesticides to production agricultural crops. To start a new report, head to the home page and in the section labeled Ag PURs, click on Enter a New Monthly Report for grower applications. This will take you to the website's online report form where you can fill in all of the appropriate information just as you would on a traditional paper report. Let's start at the top of the page. To complete the form, fill in all of the orange boxes. All orange boxes must be populated before the report can be submitted to your local Ag Commissioner's office. Most of the green boxes are optional information you can enter for your own tracking purposes. If a box has a small arrow, you must select your correct information from the drop-down menu. Typing it in without selecting it from the drop-down will result in errors. To start, select your operator ID or permit number from the drop-down menu. We're using our fictitious Friday Farms grower entity. Type in or use the calendar icon to fill in your first application date and time for the month. Friday Farms made its application on September 5 and we ended at 6 a.m. Next, select the appropriate method of application or fume code from the drop-down menu. We made a ground application. Let's choose the site from the drop-down menu to indicate the location of the application. Ours is 11K1. Once you've selected the site, let's select the commodity treated. We treated some of the wine grapes. Let's indicate how many by entering 5 and then selecting acres from the drop-down. Now we can enter the product applied. This field is already populated with over 50,000 items drawn directly from the Department of Pesticide Regulations database of registered pesticides. We can start entering the EPA code or a portion of the product name and the system will automatically pare down our options. Let's try it by entering some of the EPA registration number. Enter the first five digits 51036. We now have a list of 134 products. That's still a little big, so let's pare it down a little more. Enter the next set of numbers 352. This gives us only five results to choose from. So much easier to find our product. Let's select it. Sulfur DF 51036352AA2935. Now we can indicate how much sulfur DF we applied in the total product used and units fields. Let's enter 50 and choose pounds from the drop-down. Notice that the system automatically calculates the rate of application for you in the gray field to the right. If you need to enter more lines of use, select one of the three save left saved line options. We need to enter a new product. Let's select save line new product. The system helps speed along our entry with this option. It keeps all the entered data with the exception of the product information. Let's select our second product, Intrepid, from the drop-down. Then we can indicate we used 60 ounces. If you make a mistake or need to clear information entered by the system, select the Clear Line option. Intrepid was our final product to enter. Let's select the Save Line Done button. Saved lines will appear in the lower green area. From there, the lines can be edited or deleted before the report is submitted. Be sure to include your name and date of submission at the bottom of the form. If you are not finished with the report and want to continue working on it at a later time, click Save Draft. Remember, however, this does not submit the report to the county. You will have to go back and do that at a later time. As an alternative to the Save Line Done option, you can send the completed report to your local Ag Commissioner as an official document by clicking Submit Report. The report will also be saved automatically and available for you to review at any time. If you receive a pop-up window indicating you have errors, you can either return to the report and correct the errors line by line, Otherwise, the report will save as a draft. You cannot submit this report until the errors are corrected. If all information is entered correctly, 
Once submitted, you will receive a pop-up window indicating your report was successfully sent to your Ag Commissioner. If you close this window, notice how the PUR form now gives you some new options. To print a copy of your PUR, select the Print button. If you prepare similar reports month after month, select the Copy and Edit button. This will create a new PUR with most fields filled out using this PUR as a template. You'll simply have to update a few items like the date and time of application, etc. Selecting the Return to PUR NOI list will show you a list of PURs associated with your username. You'll be able to review your submission history, access started drafts, and more. Finally, you can enter a new report from scratch by selecting the Start New Report button. Thanks for joining us for another video on navigating CalAg permits. We hope you find them helpful.